Every student asks us this one question through WhatsApp or through email um, and we are flooded with this one question. What should be our study strategy for the remaining six months, eight months, 10 months, two months or whatever. This is one question which we have faced throughout our journey in Merit Store. And I want to tell you that your preparation counts. Your preparation on a daily basis is important. Your everyday preparation is important and it contributes to your final score. Whether you use that day in preparation or not, I want to tell you that it counts. In this video, I'm going to tell you how your typical day could be, should be, what you should do and how a typical day life of a student in the remaining number of days and weeks in NEET or in JE or JEPMER or AIMS or, or any of the examination that you're giving. Before going to sleep every night, plan the next day. So keep a detailed schedule with you on a timetable, on a paper as to how many you get up, class is going, tuition is going, college is going, what time you are getting free, your full day, like you know, to meet with friends, what is going to be married, what is going to be married, how many hours you have to sleep, have a detailed schedule. Ab schedule hone ke baad, now start fitting in things. Write down, I want to study uh, physics over here, I want to study chemistry over here, I want to study thermodynamics over here, I want to study bio over here. Fit in karo isko. And when you fit in, see that you are doing full justice to your full curriculum. On an average, every student should study for four and a half, five hours on a daily basis. If you are not able to fit this schedule in your uh, overnight timetable, then you should see what can you adjust, what can you change. Because yeh din ka saare char, paanch ghante ka padai bahut zyada mahatwapurna hai. It is very, very important. Follow these time slots. These time slots follow करना बहुत जरूरी है और आपको पता होना चाहिए कि रोजाना आप physics करोगे दो घंटे के लिए, chemistry करोगे डेढ़ घंटे के लिए, maths करोगे आप एक डेढ़ घंटे के लिए. So ये schedule आपके पास fit होना चाहिए. ये schedule आपका perfect होना चाहिए. Schedule के साथ ना इंसाफी बिल्कुल नहीं करना. मतलब अगर आपने कहा है कि four o'clock you will do physics, मतलब four o'clock you must be doing physics. Do not dilute that. Cheating नहीं करना यहाँ पर क्योंकि ये cheating कहीं ना कहीं end में आपको बहुत भारी पड़ेगा। If I ask you, are you really confident that you will get admission in the first list after your results? So are you confident that you will get admission in the first list in the top seven colleges in your locality? इसका जवाब क्या रहेगा? Are you really confident? If yes, write in the comment section and say, Sir, I'm confident. If not, ask yourself this question: Why are you not yet confident? The examination is going to come any time, and uh, why are you not confident? Are you not being fair to your own life? Are you not being fair to your own life skills and your own career choices? Sincerity, commitment, बहुत बड़ा चीज़ होता है। ये सिर्फ कहने सुनने के शब्द नहीं है। इससे कहीं कहीं ज़्यादा important है ये सब चीज़ें। You know, किताब, books, resources, teacher, tuitions, classes, college, ये सब तो आपको मिलता रहेगा। सब जगह पर मिलेगा। एक class छोड़कर दूसरा class जा सकते हैं। आप एक tuition छोड़कर दूसरा tuition जा सकते हैं। आप एक college छोड़कर दूसरा college जा सकते हैं। एक book के अलावा दूसरा book भी refer कर सकते हैं। लेकिन सवाल ये उठता है कि वो commitment कहाँ से लेके आओगे आप? This commitment has to be yours. This resilience has to be yours. The undying commitment to live up to your goals and to live up to your own life purpose has to be very important. So I'm going to share a lot of links in the description of the previous videos that I have shared of how to study, how to study using the right Pomodoro techniques, what books to refer. Yes, sab aapko description mein milega. Go through karo and let this video be a reminder to you to stay committed, to stay focused to your own life goals and to be something which you've promised yourself that you want to become. Padai ka technique bahut important hai. Padai karte vakt pura concept ke upar pura dhyan dena chahiye. Past question papers aapke haath mein hona chahiye. Aapko pata hona chahiye ki why are you studying? Once you know why are you studying, the studying process becomes easy. When you look at a chapter like a circular motion chapter or when you look at a chapter like an electromagnetic induction, you should know this chapter mein se kitne marks ka sawal aata hai. Last 10 saal mein kitne sawal aaye huye hain. Last 10 saal mein ya last 20 saal mein kaun se kaun se topics mein se sawal aaya hai. Kis, what is the nature of the question? Are they asking you more derivation type questions? Are they asking you more theoretical questions? What kind of questions are they asking you? You should know all of this and you should have full control of this. Pichle 20 saal mein kya kya sawal pucha hai in that particular chapter ye aapke haath mein hona chahiye. When you are studying a chapter, first study repeated questions. First study all those questions jo exam mein aaya hai. Learn the concepts really well. Do it. And then I will tell you what to do. 
Physical fitness is very important. That means every day for 30 minutes or 40 minutes, make sure that you're doing some physical activity, running, skipping, jogging, football, etc. Mental stability, focus is very important. That means you need to calm your mind. You need to calm your mind. You need to play the focus game regularly. You need to possibly get into meditation. Food is very important. The right kind of food and fruits, the balance is important. Having the right group is important. The right friends, the right people who will push you up when you are down, motivate you uh, correctly. The right teachers are important. The right set of books are important. All of this put together is very, very important. And all of this should be available to you at a hand's distance so that you can reach out to them and they can all give you the right backup, the right support system. Padhai karna zaruri hai, but this is one component of the whole series. So it's important that you study. It is important that you understand what you are studying. Some students will just sit and read and read and read and read and read. That's not the solution. You should read. You should understand what you are reading. That's the second thing. The third thing, you have to solve a lot of questions yourself to know whether what you learned, you know it. Third step. Fourth step. Whatever you solve, you have to get it examined yourself or with somebody else to know where you stand. That evaluation is very important. The fifth is the most important thing. Find out your errors. Find out your weak points. And now go back into studying again and repeat all these stages. So study. Know what you are studying. Solve as many mocks as possible. Get it evaluated. Understand where you defaulted. Study that. And all the mistakes, put them back into study and repeat this process. This is a complete cycle of an effect Active, successful student. I'm, I'm glad this video has been seen by so many children and in so many places. I know students write to me and I, I feel very good uh, reading these emails uh, and reading the comments which I get below. Some children tell me they're from Telangana and from Madhya Pradesh and, and from Shillong and, and, and last video I got some comments from international students from, from abroad, from the Middle East. That's, that makes me feel so good that this video is reaching out to all these people and to everybody I would like to say set daily goals. Set action goals and set smaller goals. Three things, set daily goals, set action goals and third, set small goals. What is an action goal? Action goal is I will sit and study physics. I will sit and study physics. There's an action involved. This action is important. Or your action goal set karo, rosana. Ki I will study physics. I will solve two questions. I will solve one equation. And once you achieve this, that's one goal that you've achieved. That's great. Now go to the next goal. Set a lot of chotu chotu goals on a daily basis and set all action goals on a daily basis. I want to wish you luck and thank you for watching this video. Do share this video. Comment down and let us know what are the additional topics for which you want the next video to come up. Good luck to you. Stay blessed.